And we're back, you guys. Let us continue. Ooh, the wind blew really hard in my room right now. <laughs> anyway, let's log out, see the messages on the board. Here's the message Kite wrote. Once you go in, you notice that it's deleted. It's crazy. The message I posted is deleted. So now we know that the company is not happy with his message and they deleted it. It's not good for business for people to find out that people are getting into comas because of the game. Uh, here's a challenge for the first goblin. There will be several challenges as the games go along and you'll get, uh, it'll get more difficult, but I'll explain a little bit about that later. Here's Hellbus sending you an email about how bad it is for you to use data drain uh, from one monster to the next without cooling down. And the cooldown process is that you kill monsters without the use of data drain. So it's basically a balanced out system. It doesn't heat up really fast. You need to perform data drain like 12 times, I think, before it, it overrides. And then it creates a game over. She knows about my bracelet. But, Who is she? So yeah, you don't really don't need to worry about overheating. Here's uh, chain emails from your friends, Black Rose. I don't really understand, but I will believe in you. I'm actually really busy, but I'll help you when I have time. So call me up. Uh, you can reply positive or negative. It does. It's not always positive or negative, but. Um, yeah, I usually respond positive, positive and you'll get like a chain of emails later on. Of course, uh, the way that you get emails from your friends is that you give them uh, stuff. You know, if you find a sword or a piece of armor that they can use, you just give it to them instead of selling it. And they'll start sending you, like, sending you messages and you'll, you'll know a little bit more about the story between them or their friendship. Um, but it doesn't really affect the story. It does affect their performance in battle. They heal you a lot faster if they like you. So your your best bet is to always try and uh, you know and give them the stuff that they need. And it's good for you too, because otherwise you'll have people with bad gear on you. So these people went to this area. And apparently there's something weird going on there. They left the message, uh, the area, so that we can check it out. They recommend that you're at least level 5. I will get to level 5, because it's good to always be overpowered in this game. Sometimes you get to an area that has monsters that are obviously way stronger than they're supposed to be. So it's always a good thing to be a little stronger than you need to be for every moment of the game that we go on. I saw a strange character in the alley. It looked like a cat. Is it possible to edit like that? A cat? Oh yeah, I saw it too. I prefer bunny girls, though. Alright, so let's go meet up this character. It's an alley back here. Since this place is not that big, it's really hard to miss. And as soon as we get there, we'll get a cutscene. Hey! I found a great area that's full of aromatic grass. Wanna go? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get ready then. Uh, Mia! Excuse me! You. Yes, you. 
That's a unique bracelet. Can I take a look? Can you see it? Yes, of course. Do you mean to say you can't see this nice bracelet? Even if you can't see it. As long as you know it's there, it's the same thing as seeing it, right? Bracelet? Hey, what are you talking about? I can't see any bracelet, Mia. Well, thanks a lot for letting me look at your bracelet. I have a feeling that we need to get it. Somehow. Well, see you around. So, those are two new characters that we met, Mia and Elk. Um, Elk sort of confuses a lot of people. I remember back in the days when I was playing this game for the first time, uh, my friends, I talked to them about the series and they thought that Elk was Tsukasa. And I explained to them that since this is an online game, it makes sense that people around create characters. Okay. That, see, that look the same, but aren't necessarily the same people. He's a wave master, and that's why he sort of looks like Tsukasa, but not completely. Like, if you put them side to side, they're not really the same. So I'm gonna look for an area that I can practice with, using the random feature. Uh, what level am I? Level 1. Man, I'm still... Freaking weak. Um, I'm gonna search for an area for a while and I'll be right back because I'm not sure if I can uh, do a level 3 area being level 1. Mm, I'll be right back. Alright, so um, I'm gonna go for a level 2 area, because a level 3 area is a really bad idea. <laughs> um, later on in the game, when you have more skills, better armor, and so forth, then it is a good idea to go to an area that has at least one or two levels above yours. Sometimes I leave a little more, I'd say... <laughs> At least about, um, at least three levels above. It's a little tough at the beginning, but you get so much XP that you end up leveling up really fast. Especially if you complete the whole area. Even 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 when our when sort we're, we're sort of equal here, and I'm sort of getting my ass kicked. <laughs> you can skip the uh, data drain cutscene. First aid, please help. There we go. Oh, even a, a down, uh, even a little worm that was supposed to be, well, of course it's level 1, that's what Data Drain does. It, it just makes every monster level 1. Now that I think about it, I haven't, uh, shown you the, I mean, you already seen the animation for the Data Drain, but, um, I did that off screen and I forgot, but anyway, you can see the level of infection. When the character is blue, it means that I'm, you know, normal, but then it gets like sort of yellowish, then orange, and then red, and when it says danger, uh, that's where you basically can't do any more data drains, because otherwise you'll get a game over, so at least you get an indication on when it's getting hotter and hotter. You know, I always describe it as getting hot, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, we got a better equipment here. 
So you can see the stats go up and down depending. Uh, it's usually a battle between uh, magic def defense or physical defense, but I usually go for more physical defense than magic defense. Let me do the skill, because it kills mu multiple enemies. It's really useful. So what I'm doing here today, I'm not going to do it on screen anymore. This is the only time I'm going to show you guys, you know, training and stuff like that. So what I do is that I equip a level level this 1. This screen has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon or a piece of armor. A level 1 uh, daggers and then I, you know, I equip the other daggers. I throw in these ones. Did you lose a golden axe? Or... Was it a silver axe? You have to say neither. Or else we'll give you a golden axe or a silver axe. Neither ass. one? Hmm. Let's see. Then is it this? Till next time. Goodbye. Goes. All right. This item is way better than before. And there you have it. Those springs basically upgrade your weapons. Wow, this one has the added effect of death, which is really awesome. The problem is that we lose that skill that cost um, that de defeated multiple en enemies, but the effect of this one is really good still. The effect of death is basically that sometimes when you're attacking the enemy, uh, you cause like a super damage that the enemy's life drops down to, like right there. I hit him for a hundred, and all of a sudden it died. That's the uh, that's the effect of death. Oops. Yeah, I don't have any healing items right now. I'd spend them all on the uh, that other area. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be doing uh, off screen leveling and all that, and then on the next one we'll continue to the areas posted on the on the board and that's what I'll do mostly for episodes but I'm gonna clear out the field and all that and maybe next time I'll show you uh, the dungeon and so forth so I'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>